two objectives. One is really to uh, have you experience this content and, and have fun and you know, learn something for yourself and take something away. The other is uh, that we'll go on in the background taking pictures for my new website. I have an old website, kind of not too old, but changed business last year. And, and so I'm adjusting the, the content of the website. And so I appreciate about signing signing consent form. And uh, if, if there's any concern, if you feel uncomfortable, we'll just express it. There will not be many pictures. So there will be just a small number that will be selected. <laughs> <laughs> Full of your pictures. <laughs> so uh, I also want to, for all of you to feel comfortable, uh, I would like to ask you that what is discussed here in terms of what is personally shared and the, the breakouts, just to keep it confidential. Yeah. Okay? Just to be, uh, to feel safe. Uh, I would also uh, to request basically to, to put yourself into a mood of learning, uh, to benefit most from it, uh, to be open, to, to be light. Uh, to, to connect, to fully engage, um, and uh, also to help each other okay, in the process. This is a job that uh, I have done this workshop uh, around the country. Um, I developed it many years ago, evolved it over the time, long versions of it. Uh, this is a very short version, so it's an introduction. Uh, but there's, uh, uh, all people that have attended had t took something away from it. So I hope you also take something away from it. Okay? Take notes. Yes. Uh, we have a paper here, yeah. if you like, and uh, I think we have distributed pens already. Okay. The staff for all shows not taking Yes. I know my audience. Thank you. Oh, you have to be prepared. <laughs> You were German, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, Hannah had told me that <laughs> I, I'm not that good in reading my audience. <laughs> we will a uh, we'll little bit later with an introduction. Um, I would like um, to, to share a story. Um, uh, it, was, it was June 23rd uh, in 2002, the year after 9-11. Uh, um, I was uh, hiking the Camino de Santiago, which is also known as the Way in the north of Spain, <clears throat> and uh, I'm sitting, in, uh, I'm sitting in, a, in a cafe in Leon. Uh, this was the day I, I, I took a break, um, just to get some rest. Um, a man was sitting next to me at, at the coffee table at the other end, uh, who had, had seen before but not known. I had not known him, but we, we introduced each other and, and talked to each other. And after the, the, the normal uh, you know, small talk, uh, I asked him, why do you work with me? And he looked at me and he said, uh, with a very sad eye, uh, my wife left me. And he almost, tears were coming to his eyes when he said that. And I was a little bit shocked uh, that he was so straightforward. But then we continued the conversation and he shared that his wife told him uh, that she wanted to go her own direction in life. Uh, they had two teenage uh, children, he told me. And that made him sad just saying that and think, thinking about that. And then he, uh, he was continuing and saying, she will come back to me. She's not going to make it on her own. Uh, she will not. She does not know how to make it in life. And as he continued, um, he also shared that many years ago, many years before, that was during the internet boom, he, he, he used to be a software developer. He, was profession. he, um, he stopped that career and jumped on that bandwagon of the internet boom to become a day trader. Uh, he was driven by money, he told me, and he, he became very rich. He built a big house, they had all the material comfort somebody could imagine. Uh, so they were living and, and uh, he was thinking he was doing all the right thing, he told me. Uh, up to the point when his wife uh, left him. Meanwhile, while he shared the story, uh, it had become night, uh, it had become dark in the evening, and I had to leave the next morning to continue my, my walk on the Camino, and, and so he had. And we were about just to get up and, 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 and leave and, and, and part and say goodbye. And I hadn't said much, I just had listened. I didn't know what to say. I just thought I hold the space for him, and I, I had no answers or advice or anything that would comfort him instead of just listening. But suddenly, I asked him, 
you, you told me the, the whole evening, it was, I think it was about three or four hours, you told me what your life should do, what your wife should do with her life. And uh, have you thought about what you want to do with your life? What is it that makes you happy? And he didn't say anything. He was silent. He, he turned around. It was just about to walk away. And, uh, and then he stopped and turned around and said, I used to love painting. And he smiled. This was the first time he smiled the whole evening. It was the very first time. And he turned around and walked away. I didn't see him again. Uh, not the whole Camino. And uh, so, so that was the, 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 the first man. Uh, a year later, uh, it was exactly a year later, it was June 23rd, uh, 2003. I'm, I'm sitting at my desk in Colorado and uh, an email popped up while I was working on something else. And uh, I, I got curious, I didn't know the email address. Opened the email and, and a man wrote me that, uh, uh, that he had transformed his home city into an art town. And he, he provided the link, he included the link. Uh, I clicked on the link and I opened it, and there was beautiful art all over the town, and, you know, the intersections and, and buildings, and uh, very creative. And I thought, oh, how beautiful if all cities would look like this. And then I was continuing to read the email, and, and, and he was describing his life, and he said how happy is he is, or how much he's looking forward to the future, uh, how optimistic he was. It was all about possibilities. And the reason why I tell you this story, these two men are the same man, just one year apart, just one question between the first man and the second man, which is was the question is, what makes you happy in life? He had not thought about it before, he was so absorbed with what he had to do. And uh, so this was uh, an inspiration for me, uh, as I had many conversations around the world uh, to develop uh, the boomerang uh, approach that I'm, I'm going to introduce you here and enjoy any with me. Okay. So I will ask you some questions that, in this workshop that uh, might become a turning point in your career or if you are on the right path, they might just confirm that you're on the right profession or on the right job or on the right career. Okay. Um, but before we continue, I'd like to uh, give us the opportunity to do an introduction. Um, let me start and, and show you what I would like you to say your name, uh, what your current profession is, uh, what you're passionate about. One thing that you're passionate about, you don't need to list all the things, but one thing, just share one thing that you're very passionate about. It could be personal life or professional life, there are no boundaries. And, and the one thing that you would like to get out of this workshop. So, so I'm Rainer Lop. Um, I'm, I'm my current profession is in the leadership and development and in the executive coaching and consulting area. And uh, I'm very passionate about learning and development for myself and, and with others. Um, my, my wish for this workshop is really that uh, you fully engage, that you uh, take something away uh, that moves you forward in life, and also that you have tremendous fun. And enjoy the company of, of each other. So, um, would you like something? Would you like uh, so maybe let my in first? No, no, no. no? Okay. Yeah. So it's a perfect segue. <laughs> yeah. Um, my name is Sandra Marotti. Um, I work as a senior auditor for at and My passion is teaching people and helping people um, in any way I possibly can. And my wish for this workshop is to um, perhaps find some guidance um, or have some thinking, what, which path should I take professionally, mm -hmm. personally, or the beginning of it. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You're in the right workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, my name is Christiana Cervera. My current profession, I don't know exactly. Um, <laughs> I, I believe that I'm in a transition mode. Um, I love to cook and I love to organize events. That's my passion. I love to entertain friends and family. Um, I wish to learn and understand, like Sandra said, like get a little bit more guidance. 
uh, and help on how to uh, really find myself in, you know, my career way as a uh, cook, as a, uh, you know, because I'm not happy right now. <laughs> I feel lost, so I need help. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Mauro. My name is Mauro Siqueira. Uh, I have a small business and uh, my passion is traveling and making new friends. And uh, I am here, I wish that I can find the right way to uh, the right way to get my, my new career. If I if I am on the right way you know, to, to have my new career, uh, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. Hello, my name is Monica Mamiza, and currently I'm in human resources, and I enjoy living in resources. I, my passion is traveling. I'd like to, um, from this workshop, I'm looking at um, kind of diversifying my career, mm -hmm including my passion in it and what I currently do. So I would like to um, hopefully be able to discuss where I'm going and see how I can um, Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Anke? Yeah, hi. This is, I'm Anke Jan. I'm also actually a coach, a professional coach and counselor. And the um, funny thing is you probably you don't even know that, that I'm actually in a transition right now too. So this is perfect timing. <laughs> and I kind of have to make the decision which direction I'm going to go, if I'm going to do my own business or um, if I go and join another company. So this is perfect. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> I know. I know you didn't. <laughs> so my passion, yeah, traveling and meeting friends and... Um, my new little kitty. I have a little rescue kitty, and I, I really love him. <laughs> so Thank you. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you first one. No. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm Diego. Uh, I'm radio frequency engineer. Actually, I work in Nokia Siemens network uh, by for the T-Mobile uh, telecommunication company. Um, I am passionate for the life, traveling, and enjoy the life every day. Uh, my wish for this workshop uh, is to improve and share with every, with all of you, experience about life and learn a lot about the company. Thank you, Diego. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Alini? Uh, my name is Alini de Oliveira. I am a financial examiner. I am passionate about traveling, people, cooking, all of the above. I guess I, guess I compile my passion in one little bottle. Uh, what I'd like to learn here, I think I'd like to learn your critical thinking, where you want to take us, mm -hmm. I guess the path, mm -hmm. and how, how you're going to go about that. Okay. That's, that's what I'd like to, to be my takeaway. Thank you very much. I'll go next. Hey. So, I'm Mary Ann. I think I'm the only person that I haven't had a chance to meet before. And my current profession is in leadership development, talent management. Uh, I'm really passionate about learning, but mainly learning with other people and through people. So my wish for this workshop is that together we can create something that wouldn't have existed before if we were not here. Because that's what I believe that our life is all about, like what you said Diego, is about mm -hmm. gaining and sharing things that, that can take things to a different level than they were before. So hopefully we'll achieve that for you today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And now that we know each other a little bit better, I, I just uh, recognized how, how uh, wonderful wide diversity of, of people we have, both professionally and, and, and cultural background and so on. It's wonderful. Uh, it makes a rich uh, opportunity for a rich experience. I, I'd like you uh, now talk a little bit um, about the workshop um, in, in this session. Um, we're going to uh, do a little bit of somatic uh, exercise. Uh, after this, 
Um, but then I'm giving you a context about the boomerang approach uh, that it started to develop many years ago. Um, and it's a kind of a six step process. I will not be able to go through all of the six steps. I will just give you an introduction to it and we'll do some, some core pieces of it that you can continue hopefully the work after it, but it initiates you, it gives you, it gives you a kickstart. I've been teaching it at Green Tech Academy in California at like a whole, whole day, or at Hewlett Packard, for example, or one-on-one -on -one coaching over multi several months period to help people uh, uh, achieve that. But this is a good, uh, good size uh, to get a good start. Uh, we'll then um, do some breakout sessions about these core pieces where you have the opportunity to learn something about yourself that you might not know yet, or you know it, but it's not, you're not fully aware of it. Okay? Bring that to self-awareness, uh, especially in the area of your passion and, and also uh, possibly your strengths uh, might show up, but also what you care about in the world, okay? what really matters to you. Uh, and then uh, at the end, we will talk about some next steps you can take. Where would the process, if you continue, where will the process lead you uh, to make like Alini 